Hi, I'm Bruce Hansen. And I'm Damon Humes. And we're with Sunbelt Marketing. And today we're going to be talking about gas risers. Specifically, what you need to inform us of when you order a riser. Uh, there's three factors that we need to know. One is your pipe diameter. The other is your vertical length. This is going to be determined by the berry depth required by your local code. The last one is horizontal. Now, depending on the manufacturer, there may or may not be more than one horizontal option available. Here we have four examples of risers that are currently on the market. First one here is a analyst riser. The second one is a compression riser. Third one is going to be an analyst riser with a half stab attached to it. And lastly, a flexible riser. This is an example of a standard anodeless riser. The key thing about an anodeless riser is that poly pipe runs all the way through this riser and terminates up here. There's a maximum bury depth markation right here because you don't want to bury this below ground, otherwise it's not going to be anodeless anymore. Here I have an example of a compression riser. Uh, the way this was going to operate is the yellow poly is going to terminate right here at this compression net. The yellow poly is going to be coming into this over this bar, and this nut is going to compress down onto that grabbing the pipe. Depending on your local code, you may or may not need to attach an anode to this riser. This is another example of a standard anodeless riser. The only difference is we include a stab fitting on this unit for ease of installation. Lastly, we have a flex riser. Uh, this is also considered an analyst riser because the yellow poly is going to travel up the sleeve and terminate above ground at this junction. Uh, it does have a minimum or maximum berry depth, as you can see here, uh, and will terminate above grade.